Speaker, I rise uh, in support of the Rothfuss Amendment, which I'm a co-sponsor of. I want to thank Representative Rothfuss for his leadership on this issue. I also want to recognize uh, the Chairman of the Veterans Affairs Committee for his leadership on uh, ensuring that uh, no member of the Senior Executive Service um, can abuse their power, and in fact, they'll be held accountable and promoted and fired based on performance. Unfortunately, our Veterans Affairs has failed to take appropriate action to increase transparency and hold senior executive service employees accountable for their actions and their performance. Um, and recent critical reports from the VA's general or uh, Inspector General and the GAO have shown that uh, some VA executives can continue to receive praise on their performance reviews and collect generous cash bonuses up to $63,000. Let me be clear, though, most VA employees are dedicated public servants, but there are a few at the top who need to be held accountable. The Veterans Affairs uh, Department began the month of April proudly proclaiming success in reducing the stubborn backlog of disability claims. However, they improved that number by denying incomplete claims and creating a huge appeals backlog. Uh, the backlog is causing it, our veterans to be denied disability compensation and access to health care. Um, and we shouldn't allow these executives to take bonuses for false success. The VA is clearly not fulfilling its commitment to our veterans. This amendment's simple. It ensures that senior VA officials are held accountable for their performance and cannot be rewarded for false performance. In addition to our backlog problem, Congress passed in 2012 the in the Consolidated Appropriations an amendment that required the VA to share prescription information with state prescription drug monitoring programs. As many of my colleagues know, our veteran populations facing a huge epidemic of opioid addiction, and it's leading to a high number of our veterans committing suicide and overdosing. The VA finalized a rule in April, but it's not been fully implemented to share information with these prescription drug monitoring programs. We can't wait any longer for this program. Participation in the prescription drug monitoring programs will ensure that our VA hospitals, civilian hospitals, and doctors no longer overprescribe over opioids to our veterans. Uh, not having this rule fully implemented and in use by our states is just another reason to prohibit performance benefits for our senior VA officials. I urge all members to support this amendment and the entire VA Milcon appropriations bill, and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back.